Hey guys, so what's going on? We're playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare once again. <coughs> Pardon me. It looks like we're going to go ahead and search a game. We're going to go ahead and find one, see if we can find a really great game session, according to the Plants vs. Zombies guys. And we found one with one other player. Um, but I don't think his, his lobby is still open. I do hope so, but, uh, it's very highly unlikely. And we lost connection. That's just great. Probably on his end. I mean, my end is here is, uh, pretty high speed, you know. <laughs> Rogers, they're great. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably just run a game by myself. And let's go see which map it'll place us on. Got eight seconds for that to commence. Actually, we're going to try and change the map. And oh, we can't change it anymore. Looks like we're just going to have to settle with Shark Bite Shores. Never played here yet, but... Um, Anticipating its excitement in the map. I'm sure there's going to be three gardens as usual. So we're going to go ahead with our regular Plasma P. He's level 3 now. And I haven't really used any of these other guys, hence they're still level 1 and they're still giving me tips on how to use the character. But I tried using the Cactus once. Eh, it wasn't really good. Plasma P is the one who I would recommend if you guys have him unlocked. He's a pretty good character. Three, two, one, and go. And we're off to the adventure. So, first we gotta plant a garden. So, firstly, what we're gonna do is go ahead right to that bonus garden. We're going to go and plant that one right in there. And with this bonus garden, what you get is essentially bonus loot and coins after every single round. And even right at the beginning, it's it's raining coins. This is, this is remarkable. So we're going to go ahead and wait for these zombies to come in. I don't know if I'm going to plant another plant in there. Most likely just going to plant one of these guys in here. I'm going to try out this new laser bean. See how it does. <clears throat> now the laser bean is similar to the one that's in the 2D Plants vs. Zombies. Where it'll shoot one laser and it'll actually shoot directly throughout all the zombies that are in the way doing damage to each and every single one of them which will, which will surely help us I'm sure it does the same thing in this in this game here <coughs> oh no we got one zombie hit our hit our garden but that's alright we won't get that bonus um, extra round where you don't take any damage to the garden you just get some extra loot but that's alright Wave complete. We got that coin bonus, which is great. And that, that bonus actually gets better as the rounds progress. And as you get to the higher rounds and anticipate round number 10. And I'm going to surely pick up all of those loots. And we got somebody who joined. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm sure he's just joining on the game session. It's not actually in game yet. Hopefully, he's a flower that can, uh, or a sunflower who can actually heal us throughout all this uh, gameplay. Most likely, he'll just be a uh, another pea shooter. And he's a flower. Look at that! Wow, he's <laughs> predicting everything. So this guy's gonna be a great help. Look at that wave complete. All that loot falling down. 
That'll be great. And the next round is here. Let's see if uh, my mic's on. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know if I have to refresh the game because I was fiddling around with the the microphone before. All these bombs are coming through here. Those aren't good. So I was hoping to get to, uh, you know, round 10, just solo, with just me and the Plasma P. But it looks like we got these other guys joining in. And I think in the next video, I'll probably run a, a solo match and make it private so that no one else can join in. So that we can see if we can get to round 10 uh, doing it solo. Hopefully. But uh, we'll see. And that bonus loot again. So we're mirroring wave four. And I think once we get to um, uh, wave five, I think I'm just gonna just gonna speed right to it until we get to that final section where we're waiting for that landing craft to come pick us up. Cause we're doing so good thus far, uh, coming with just uh, three plants, and we're destroying these guys. But I think what they do is they handicap it so that if you only have three uh, players in the one game, they'll make it a little bit easier in order to actually get through the rounds. They won't, you know, send the hardest of zombies at you. But who doesn't like a challenge, right? Those bomb guys are just, you know, freaking me out. They're just plopping out of nowhere. You got a pirate here and looking for something. You're not looking for that garden, buddy. <laughs> Alright, I think this round's just about finished. What's this guy here? He's he's floating around. And there's one more over there is slowly taking damage. And he's gone, there's that loot again, look at that. And there's a diamond over there, and I just totally missed it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Most likely this uh, silver face over here is going to end up getting it. That was very sad. So let's see what these slots will give us. Hopefully, you know, a little bit of loot. And then some uh, some other zombies. Oh, four zombies in one. And a Dex for Disco. Not too bad, bringing the 80s back. So let's quickly wipe through these zombies. Drop that explosive plasma bomb there. Get rid of this other guy over here. Clean up these other pirates coming along here. Not today, not today. That guy's still alive. Whoa, and there's one other boss. And Oh, almost wipes me out. Oh, and he does wipe me out. Shit. <laughs> that was not good. Should have got out of there quicker. But that's okay. I'll wait for someone just to come around and pick me up you know, like a good Samaritan. There he is. Thanks, buddy. And this guy, oh, he almost wiped the other guy out as well, guys. He just uh, sur revived me. My goodness, let's get out that disco disco dude. My goodness. Oh, getting knocked back from this disco ball. And another guy's down. I don't think anybody else will go down, hopefully not. I'll wipe these guys out first. I oh, can't even jump on there. There we go. Need that extra power jump boost. I'll just wipe them out. Boom! One shot KO. <laughs> I just gotta take up this one more guy over here, this disco dude. And right, he'll be out I'm just about right now. And got a couple other zombies waiting around here. That's okay. And they knocked out that plant, but that's alright. Let's finish up these other zombies. Get this guy up while I cover around him. And he's up. And that bonus wave loot. There it is. There's that diamond, but the other guy picked it up. That bastard. It's okay. I'll get it the next round. 
can go ahead and plant a, I think a repeater, I think the name of that one is. I'll see how that holds up. And this wave is about to start. So I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and speed right through, through this until we get to that landing craft zone. So, we'll see you guys then. So we're mirroring the end of this this ten wave bonanza. I'm sure I'll get a lot of loot after picking up all of those loot bonuses after each round. Should be a good time. So we did make it, <laughs> which is good. We uh, succeeded, which is great. So that wasn't too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one, and remember to hit that subscribe button.